what is alkyl lithium? Alkyl lithium is a very good uh, reagent used in organic synthesis. So alkyl lithium is a compound which contains carbon and lithium. So carbon lithium bonds are there in alkyl lithium. So it can be generally called organolithium reagents. So let's see what is alkyl lithium. RLR. This represented generally as RLI. R can be any alkyl group. It can be butyl, N-butyl, tertiary butyl, CH3, etc. So when it is N-bu, N-butyl, it is called N-butyl lithium. When it is CH3, it is called methyl lithium. So these are common reagents, common organolithium reagents used in our reactions. So alkyl lithium is a good reagent in organic synthesis. It is a compound which contains carbon and lithium bond. Carbon and a lithium bond. And due to huge uh, big electronegativity difference between carbon and lithium, these bonds are highly polar. So carbon lithium bonds are polar. And another important point is Carbon lithium, alkyl lithium can act as a base, base and a nucleophile. So when it is acting as a base, it means it can abstract proton. It can abstract proton. And when, when it is acting as a nucleophile, it means it can undergo nucleophilic addition, nucleophilic reactions. When uh, a compound is called as nucleophile, it means it can donate a pair of electrons. Donate, donation of electrons. So, alkyl lithium is a base and a nucleophile. And another point is, it is a hard nucleophile. And Gilman reagent. Gilman reagent. Gilman reagent is R2CULI. So the metal containing in Gilman reagent is copper and lithium. While Gilman reagent is a soft nucleophile and alkyl lithium is a hard nucleophile. So when it is a hard nucleophile, it will undergo 1 2 addition. Now the question is what is 1 2 addition? So let's see what is 1 2 addition. Taking a butadiene, this is a butadiene, uh, let's number from here, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, if we add a compound like alkyl lithium, RLI, it will add to these two carbons, 1 and 2 carbons. The RLI, alkyl lithium is added to 1 and 1st and 2nd carbons. Not first and fourth carbons, while Gilman reagent undergo one four addition. If we are adding Gilman reagent, what will happen? It will add to first and fourth position, not one two. So hard nucleophile means it undergo one two addition. The addition is taking place at the first and second carbons of a compound. And now the these are the main important reactions which undergo, undergone by alkyl lithium. The first reaction is nucleophilic addition. We know alkyl lithium is a nucleophile, so it will undergo nucleophilic addition. And the second reaction is deprotonation because alkyl lithium is a base. Base can abstract proton. Abstracting proton is called deprotonation reaction. And the third one is metal exchange. Metal exchange means alkyl lithium contains one metal, which is the metal lithium, CLI. So this lithium, lithium can replace uh, another metal of a compound. Another metal like uh, tin, SN, SN. This is tin. So lithium can exchange, replace tin in a compound, in a reaction. So that is called the metal exchange reaction. And fourth one is halogen lithium exchange. Like a metal exchange, lithium can replace or exchange with halogens also. And this is the most important reaction of alkyl lithium, ortholithiation. We will see uh, what is ortholithiation in detail. 
So let's see the four, five reactions of alkyl lithium uh, organolithium reagent. Okay, now let's move on to the reactions of alkyl lithium. So first important reaction is nucleophilic addition. So in nucleophilic addition, we need a nucleophile. So in first example, this compound is given and MaLi is the organolithium reagent here. So MaLi can be represented as CH3Li and we have to identify the nucleophile here which is the nucleophile CH3- and Li+. Alkyl lithium, this is alkyl lithium, R is represented as minus and lithium is in positive state. So, this is uh, similar as in Grignard reagent, RNGBR. RNGBR is the Grignard reagent. So, this is also R minus and NGBR plus. So, here the nucleophile is alkyl group. R minus is a nucleophile. So, this nucleophile is attached to carbonyl compound. So, what will be the product? C below the plane N, B, N2, H, N, E. C, H o can be represented as C double bond O, H. Now, Me minus will attack carbonyl carbon. So, what will happen? These bonds are shifted to oxygen due to oxygen's electronegativity. And the product is N, B, N2, a hydrogen, uh, N, E, C, O minus hydrogen, N, E. Now, it is given H3 O plus. So, H, when adding H3 O plus as in hydrolysis, a H plus will attack to O minus. Now the question is stereochemistry. Because here the NBN2 is a big uh, bulky group and it is in the below plane. So if a bulky group is in below plane, H plus cannot come through below the plane. So it will come by through above plane. So H plus will come through above plane. So what will be the product? OH. OH will be in the above plane. So we have to uh, consider the stereochemistry also in this reaction. Mb. So the stereochemistry is OH is above the plane. A hydrogen and a Me. This Me is the nucleophile attached to carbonyl carbon. So this is a product. So in first example, the main points are uh, the nucleophile is Me, Me minus. In alkyl lithium, the nucleophile is R minus and Li, Li is in lithium is in plus electrophile. And another important point is stereochemistry. When a bulky group is in below plane, the OH will be above. And if it is a bit above the plane, OH will be below the plane. So that's the uh, important points of first example. Now we can solve the second example. Second example, the carbonyl compound is CHO and the nucleophile is NC5H11. So the product is the OME is not affected. Hydrogen is in above plane and rest of the compound is as it is. OH the double bond is not affected and here the carbon in carbon uh, OH is attached in carbon in carbon like in first example and here what will be attached the nucleophile NC5H5 5 carbons 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so this is the product we are attaching the nucleophile to carbon in carbon and double bond of carbon in is uh, converted to OH because H3 O plus is given so H plus will attack O minus and OH is formed and uh, these are the examples of nucleophilic addition reactions now we can see the second important reaction important reaction of alkylithium is proton abstraction deprotonation reaction so we can solve these problems so we will understand better in first example we have to first identify the acetic hydrogen which should be uh, deprotonated. So here which is the acetic hydrogen? This. This is the acetic hydrogen which can be removed by alkylidium. So here the alkylidium is N-butyl lithium. 
So the product is the double bond is not affected. Here lithium will attach because hydrogen is abstracted by RK lithium and lithium will replace the hydrogen. So this is the product of B protonation reaction. Now in second example we have to identify the azotic hydrogen. An important point is alpha vinylic hydrogen is more azotic than beta vinylic than allylic. So here this is alpha vinylic hydrogen. This is alpha vinylic hydrogen. This is beta vinylic hydrogen. And this is allylic hydrogen. These two are allylic hydrogen. So we know alpha vinylic hydrogen is more acidic than these two hydrogens. So which hydrogen will be replaced, uh, will be deprotonated? Alpha vinylic hydrogen. So in alpha vinylic hydrogen position, the lithium will attach. A hydrogen, hydrogen. Hydrogen. So this is a compound uh, product. Now in third example, an uh, alkyne is given. So in alkyne also the, this hydrogen can be deprotonated. So the product become NC4H9 a lithium and the remaining product is NBUH because N butyl lithium is given. So NBUH is the remaining product. These are the examples of deprotonation by alkyl lithium. Now we can see the third uh, important reaction, metal exchange reaction. So these two are the examples of uh, metal exchange reactions. So here the metal exchange reaction is taking place between lithium and this compound, tin. Tin is the metal here. So lithium is uh, replacing tin here. So what will be the product? SNPH3 is replaced by lithium. And the remaining product is PH4SN. PH3SN plus this PH. PH4SN. So lithium is replacing tin metal. That is metal exchange reactions by alkyl lithium. And in second example, N butyl lithium is given and to this compound, N butyl lithium is added to this compound, what will happen? SNBU3 is replaced by lithium and stereochemistry is same. So these reactions, metal exchange reactions are stereospecific. Stereospecific. Here the stereochemistry is not changing. Lithium is attaching below the plate as the reactant. So these metal exchange reactions are stereospecific. Now comes the fourth uh, reaction, important reaction, halogen lithium exchange. Like in metal exchange reaction, uh, instead of metal, the lithium is exchanging between halogen. So here the halogen is bromine. So this is the compound, an uh, alkene. Bromine is attached to an uh, alkene. N butyl lithium is given. So, what is the product? What will be the product? The Br is replaced by lithium. Br is replaced by lithium. So, this is the second example of halogen lithium exchange. So, here also this Br, bromine, is replaced by lithium. This is very simple reactions of alkyl lithium. Now here comes the most important reaction of alkyl lithium that is ortholithiation. Ortholithiation. So what is ortholithiation? Ortholithiation is a reaction in which replacement of CSP2H. CSP2 means SP2 carbon hydrogen. The replacement of this carbon hydrogen bond with organolithium reagent with organolithium reagent is facilitated at a position ortho ortho position to a functional group which contain non-bonding electrons I will explain once more the replacement of CH bond with CLI at ortho position 
to a functional group which contain non bonding electrons so here the functional group is ome so which atom contain non bonding electrons oxygen oxygen contain non bonding electrons so ortho ligation is replacement of ch bond with cli at ortho position to a functional group which contain non bonding electron so here oxygen contain non bonding electrons so cli is replaced at the ortho position of oxygen so ortho position of oxygen is this position or this position so either position can be ortho position of oxygen so let's take this position so here what will happen this ch bond is replaced by cli so the product is then here comes cli this is ome so the ortho position to oxygen is oxygen is replaced by cli that's the ortho ligation reaction now let's uh, do another example and one more thing for ortho ligation the reactivity of preference is nitrogen greater than oxygen nitrogen will uh, do uh, the ortho ligation more uh, fast than oxygen so now come the second example here the product is here o m e is present and c h 2 n m e 2 is also present so a nitrogen and a oxygen is there so we know nitrogen have more preference than oxygen so let's take ortho position of nitrogen not oxygen so we are taking ortho position of nitrogen which is the ortho position of nitrogen here this so we are taking this bond so it is replaced by lithium and rest of the compound is as it is nme2 and ome so this is the product this is ortho ligation i will explain once more ortho ligation is the replacement of ch bond to cli carbon lithium at the ortho position of a functional group which contain non bonding electrons like nitrogen and oxygen and third example this is ch3 this is a hydrogen and this is a oxygen it contain non bonding electrons so the ortho position of oxygen is this and this here methyl group is uh, contain so we can we can't do ortho ligation to this side so we will do to this side so what will be the product here lithium comes and here me so and double bond is not affected so this is the ortho ligation reaction of alkyl lithium organo lithium reagents so these are the points of alkyl lithium alkyl lithium is a good reagent in organic synthesis uh, it act as a base and a nucleophile since it is hard nucleophile it undergo one to addition only not one for addition and the important five reactions of alkyl lithium were discussed that are uh, nucleophilic addition proton abstraction metal exchange reaction and metal halogen exchange reaction and ortho ligation ortho ligation is the most important reaction of alkyl lithium so these uh, are simple reactions simple mechanism is there in alkyl lithium but even though these are simple uh, it's very important in our exams